Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ella Hawk and this is my first video. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below once you've done all that. Okay, let's get this started. Get this started. We're gonna be painting a sunset with cactuses. This is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be a Polaroid. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. We're just, the materials you're going to need is watercolor paper or any paper will do. You're going to need watercolors. It can be any brand. I just have these ones and some glittery ones. You're going to need masking tape. Any color is fine. And you're going to need some paintbrushes of all different sizes. Well, you technically could use any, but you just need them in all different sizes too. Okay, so you're going to start off with your piece of watercolor paper or just normal paper. I'm using watercolor paper because it turns out with a more vibrant effect because it won't bleed through. You're going to start off by getting your masking tape and taping it in certain places. I'll show you where. One hour later. You are going to put it on the bottom. Now you're going to put it on both of the sides. You do not have to have a canvas, but if you would like to, you can. You also don't have to have a stand. So here's the Polaroid we're going to be painting. So you guys can screenshot it if you want to use it off of that. Make sure you fold it over. Now it should look like this. Now do the top. It should look like this when it's all finished. You're going to start by drawing a squiggly line at the bottom to represent the mountains in the background. This is what it looks like when it's finished. There it is. Now, I forgot to add the step I, in here, but you're going to take a big brush and put water on top of it just to make it a little bit wet. Now you're gonna put on, at the bottom, you're gonna put on the first color. And the first color is going to be yellow make sure you put this against the line and don't like i did don't try to put it over the marking for the ground next you're gonna do the step that i said to do in the beginning make sure you do this before you put the yellow on i accidentally made a mistake now that i'm editing the video so just make sure you put it on before. Next color is orange. You're going to put this right next to the yellow. And if it drops down, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure it doesn't go through the bottom on the ground. Make sure none of the colors go underneath the line. The next color you will need is red. And mine accidentally drooped down. So if you have that, if it drops that much down, make sure you kind of go over with your finger or a paper towel. And if it looks kind of messy like this, it's going to be perfectly fine. So you're going to do this part red. Make sure you go over if you need it darker. The next color you will need is blue. If it drops down, it's okay. Uh, mine was starting to drip down, but it's okay because it turned out perfect leave fine so just go over your finger a little bit if you need to the next color is going to be purple and this is a really dark purple i mixed it with black and purple so it turned out like that make sure you put more purple than black so it doesn't turn out looking super black i'm putting more coats over just to make it a little bit darker here it is now you're going to take a, oops, it fell. Now you're going to take, now you're going to take a brush and pull it down. This is the blending state. You can blend it however you would like. This is just how it happens that I did it. Here, I pulled the purple all the way down. It went all the way into the red. And it might look like it kind of messed up, but I didn't. It's going to turn out just how it looked. So you're going to go over a little bit and pull it all the way down to the edge of the orange. 
then you're gonna start making staggered motions with your brush in each color. I'm starting with the blue going into the purple and the blue going into the red. Now you're gonna do the same thing with all the other colors, but before you move on, make sure you blend it in between each one and go over the purple on the sides. This, the reason you put the purple is to add a more vibrant effect and a darker effect. Then you will see the pulling and it will turn out amazing. And remember, in watercolor, you can never mess up. Now I'm doing red. Pull the purple into the red and pull the blue into the red and also make sure you pull the orange into the red. And so you see how the side, make sure you smooth it out. And when if you look, I didn't really go over this one, but I will go over it soon. Now it's time for the orange. I'm not doing a staggered motion just so I could cover it all up. So I did a, I'm doing a side to side motion and now I'm gonna do a little bit of a staggered motion. I'm also doing side to side just so it blends a little bit better. I'm pulling it down into the yellow, but not all the way down. Now I'm going back over the red because I'm going to try to fill in all that purple space. Now we're going to be pulling the yellow. And since you can't pull it down, you're going to be pulling it up into the orange and just do sideward motions. This is how it should turn out or something like this. Make it as unique as you would like. Okay, now I'm going to take my big brush in with some water and I'm going to let it drip down. Make sure I accidentally got it into the mountains. But if you do that, just pick it up and try to move it with your finger just like I'm doing in this process. Lots of blending later. Here it is after all the blending. See how I pulled all the colors in? And I'm, I just touched up the yellow just a little bit because I pulled it a little too deep into the yellow. Okay, now you're going to take white on your brush and you're going to use your finger and pull it back to make little stars and use a flicking motion. Don't get the paint and the watercolor too wet because if you do, it will sink in just like mine did. So try not to put too much paint. Then you're going to use your paintbrush and make little tiny dots if it's not showing up too well. You can also make little crosses for the stars. Here I am doing it once again. You're probably thinking, what do I do at the bottom? Well, now you're going to take black and go through it. So in this part of the video, I am using the black and going through up against it and coloring it in. Oh, it fell. It's okay. So now it's all black at the bottom. So you see how in this it's all black and now it's time to make the cactuses. Cactuses should be unique. You can make them big, small, little, or just little bushes, as much as you would like and as little as you would like and however you would like them to be. I am making five and I'm just doing little and big. Use your imagination. This is when I had three cactuses done. I did four cactuses and after I did a little bit more white splattering. Now you're gonna peel all the tape off. It should be like a Polaroid. Here it is. Now it looks something like a Polaroid. Any great artist signs their work. So I signed mine on the bottom. And subscribe, comment down below down when you finish all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and wash your hands. Bye guys.